Uh, g'day, Scott from uh, Zodin Guitars. Just um, an update. It's been a little while, probably a couple of months. Just come through a really hot summer, so um, I tend to stay out of the uh, workshop a fair bit when it gets to about 40 odd degrees inside. Um, just an update. Um, I've done a little bit since we last spoke, but it's basically been a repeat. Um, if you look here, I made a neck um, some time ago. That's the one where I gave you the first update on. Pretty much wasn't happy with it. There was a couple of little um, points on there that I was really not that happy with. Um, put the fretboard on, ended up taking it off. Not um, kind of the standard I'm looking for. So I pulled the shed door down in disgust and basically binned this one here. So um, as you can see. So what I've basically done is just put my head down and uh, started fabricating another neck. Um, got a little bit further along with this one, got the fretboard on. Um, still got a lot of work to do. I just put the radius on the fretboard, so um, I don't know if you can see, there's a little radius on the fretboard there, so um, probably a little bit of, it's 12 inch radius. Um, basically made this piece of steel up here with a, um, a concave radius in it of 12 inches. Um, glued some sandpaper on with some double sided tape, um, then just ran the actual uh, guitar along like so. Um, got it sanded down so I've got that pretty close I won't go too hard and then what I'm going to do is finish it off with this um, radius block here so I'll put some double sided tape on that and then I'll just run this to finish the, uh, the actual fretboard on. I'll get it as close as possible and then um, and then I'll put a finish on it with some really fine grip. I've got to put a veneer on here um, got the nut that's got to go there. So they're basically going to do a um, guitar that was pretty similar to the um, the last one I've done. Uh, with some really old wood on top. I'm going to distress it, make it look um, old. Um, once again, a lot of work goes into this, but it'll look like it hasn't. Um, just over to here, if you mind the mess. Um, I've got the body, I've joined the pieces together. It's going to be the, an explorer shape. So still got to cut it out a little bit closer to the line, but I'll get, I'll get to that. That's, there's no rush on that. I just wanted to get a bit more work done on the neck. Um, as you can see, it's taken me a little while to get it flat. Um, a lot of sanding. So, got to set a line there. So, what I'm going to do is put a, um, a rough veneer on top of this as well. What I'll do is I'll um, end up sanding out a lot of a lot of the wood in here. Or oh, sorry, not sanding out. Uh, taking out a lot of the wood in here to lighten up the um, actual guitar. This is Mary, and it will have um, some uh, distressed mill cut jarrah put on top as a veneer. So um, yeah, it's looking quite nice. You see there's a bit of curl in there. Um, yeah, still a lot of work to go. Um, I'll stain this black and then sand it back a little bit. So, um, so it looks uh, old and worn. So yeah, that's the latest update. So there has been some movement. Um, hopefully uh, things will move pretty quick from now on in. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated as I go. So um, hopefully I'll finish the guitar neck off pretty shortly. I'll catch up with you. See ya.